Stu, I need your assistance. I've already bought my Belle Dauphine bath water. Mm. <laughs> Best $30 I've ever spent in my life. To hell with being stream daddy. I can taste her skin flakes. Stu. Stu! Please focus. Okay, Stu, you got this. It's like science. Stu, you wasted a drop! Okay, Stu. Give it to me. That's right, Stu. You got it, Stu. You're the man. Oh, look at that dexterity. Come on, Stu, if you want. You dropped some, you stupid bastard. Hold on. I can't let this go to waste. Oh, 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 baby. Oh, soak into my flesh. Mm -hmm. It's the 4th of July. I have to liberate my penis. It's the fall of civilization. Rome is burning and people are buying bath water. Okay, now some of you have lives. Probably a vast majority of you. I have probably the best community on YouTube in my personal opinion. Simply because all the guys who contact me and women, they're either in the military they're working on a truck, they're working on a dock, they're pallet jacking, they're in a gas station, they're serving you your soup. I feel like Tyler Durden. Before me, I see the best men that history has ever created. And what are we doing? Pumping gas, buying bath water. <laughs> It's fucked. It's actually fucked. Everything is fucked. Is what I'm fucking saying. Fuck everyone. Our great war is a spiritual war. Our great depression is our lives. But all jokes aside and fight club references, I seriously have a community full of average people, adults, hard workers, some teenagers, but a majority of them are people who know what's up. And essentially, it's my job to try and frame the retardation going on in the world in a funny sort of fashion. I have to be the pop bird and eat this shitty little worm. <laughs> then I have to regurgitate it to the children in a consumable way. Bell Dolphine is an unstoppable force. And I hope to God an immovable object shows up sometime soon, even though it doesn't seem at all possible. There's a whole rabbit hole on this girl, and frankly, I have to give it to her. She might just be a marketing genius. Because she played this e-fame in such a fashion, it has made her egregiously rich. How rich, you might say? She probably makes around $150,000 a month on Patreon. I will disclose a photo here. I, I can't, I'm not even going to look to double check, because if I see a huge number, I'm going to jump out the window head first. And some other motherfucker could do this shit. <laughs> Things got weird on June 21st of 2019. While the rest of you were at work and I was battling depression, <laughs> Belle Dolphine upset her fans by creating a Pornhub and trolled the living hell out of them. She promised to create a Pornhub account if her photo reached 1 million likes. Obviously, it did, all right? You know it did. You know why? Because her fan base is full of dudes who, dude, they aren't even thirsty. They're like zombies for the thirst. You know, like, I feel the thirst is a disease that turns men into just these creatures that will take any level of crap from a woman long as they think she's hot. It's ridiculous. So obviously the photo reaches 1 million likes. Belle Dauphine makes her Pornhub account. And for some reason, these thirsty bastards didn't even see this coming. She's trolled for years. She's flirted with nudity for years. You're never gonna get it. 
All right. It's kind of like when you have a friend that keeps chasing a girl over and over again. And it's like, listen, Tyler, let it go. She's not going to go out with you. She's not going to change her mind. It doesn't matter how many dudes she dates that slaps her around. She's not going to wake up and go, oh, my God, Tyler would be a good choice for me because that's how it works. You're never going to see Belle Delphine's boobs unless you're her boyfriend. And I wouldn't be surprised if that motherfucker had to pay a cover charge at the door. I'm just saying, let it go. Move on. There's plenty of boobs elsewhere. My God. I don't know how many times I've seen Indigo White's boobs by accident. I go down my timeline. I see this girl who's naked. I'm like, hey, now. Hey there, baby. You want to meet Papa? Ah, oh, damn it. It's Indigo. She's got a boyfriend. Fuck. And then you move on. That's what you do. She posted a video called PewDiePie. I can't do this. God, help me. She posted a video called PewDiePie goes all the way inside Belle Dolphine. Some reason her followers expected her to do something sexual. And they were mortified to find Belle Dolphine just eats a photo of PewDiePie while winking at the screen. Took my money, pay me, pay child support. And literally that's it. I hope that paper is like edible paper, like rice paper. It has to be edible ink. I don't know. She also put up one video called Belle Dolphine plays with her poussoir. What the hell am I looking at here? What is this? Man, things are fucked up. God damn it, Pornhub. All right, this one seems slightly more. She doesn't have any boobs. Where's her boobage? Oh, she pulls out a fake cat. Oh, Belle, you bitch. How dare you? You could have at least got a real cat for this. I feel completely and utterly, you know, okay, someone's playing with the cat toy off screen. You know who that is? That's her boyfriend. That's the guy she's actually having sex with. You're paying for their vacations, you fucking scrub. Remember that. Couldn't even get a real cat. This has offended me. So that led to one backlash, a huge one. Some of her fan base even said, we need to unfollow her and all unlike everything we did, retake the clout we gave her and force her into making actual porn because that's what people have been into ever since she started. Put her in a clout drought and feed it to her as a reward, like a little pet, when she's actually given us what we wanted. I'm not joking, bitch. Another angry fan said, okay, I laughed. Ha ha, I get it, you're funny, but you're also sexy. So put some MF porn content on that fucking <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was trying to stay in character, but that was funny. He's doing his best. I was count sec. I was count seconds till you make that account. Oh my God, this is sad. I will count the seconds till you make that account, and you trick your loyal fans. You fucked this up. If you don't put them good stuff on the account, I'll unfollow you. And if you don't care, then you deserve no fans at all, cause you didn't have 1 million followers from day one. We made you famous and successful. So just put them, what? So just put them videos. What the fuck English is this? So just put them um, videos on the account. It's not like you're innocent or some shit. I don't know emoji. This has got 42 likes. This guy was not fucking around and 42 motherfuckers are with him. Listen, I got nothing. It was rigged. <laughs> Rigga Morris, girl. It was Rigga Morris, girl. Mor Who's Morris? I don't know how the hell you could follow Belle Dolls Bean. Think she's going to create a porn hub and expose her puss. You're out your mind. She's already getting your money now. Belle Dolphine is getting your money now. Why would she need to go that extra mile? She's already getting everything. For God's sakes, please support your real sex workers. <laughs> not the fake ones. I'm sorry, Belle Dolphine is not a sex worker. If I haven't seen her, stick something up her ass. She ain't a sex worker. She's an e-girl. Good God, people are emailing me repeatedly telling me to talk about Belle Dolphine. I have to get my energy up. I just did a Twitter video that destroyed my perception of reality. I knew the world was fucked, but Jesus Christ, it just went to the next level. I'm dying. This is cancer. When Total Biscuit was laid out from cancer, people sent their condolences. They didn't say, get your ass out of bed and make a new video. 
Now, this article is from Newsweek. To give you an idea of what Newsweek is like, Newsweek labeled me an alt-right troll. I have yet to receive a retraction. I am not alt-right. I'm not left either. I don't know what the hell I am. I'm an Indian. There you go. I'm an Indian. One retraction. I want it now. <laughs> Angry red skin yells into the internet while his people die in a reservation. Newsweek says some aggravated netizens, which doesn't sound very far from foul denizens, which is what I think they are alluding to, encouraged others to unfollow her in mass to torpedo her career, a fit punishment for being misled by the cosplay star. The angry, vengeful, and explicit reactions seemingly point to a sense of entitlement that some fans have with their favorite influencers and the ways in which online communities can sometimes foster misogyny and toxic masculinity. While editing this and going through it again and listening to this Newsweek article, basically attributing her fan base to being toxic, masculine, little douchebags, you know. How come it holds her, like, Newsweek doesn't hold her slightly responsible for cultivating this fan base? You see, the funny thing is when I get in trouble, or when someone's not happy with me, especially when it's game journalists, they always make it seem like I cultivated a fan base of hatred and misogyny and militarized them to go after EA because EA is like a helpless little baby or something. When EA is screwing us all over every chance they get. Like a girlfriend that doesn't mind keeping her money and saving it but spending yours. And you're just supposed to be cool with it. I'm just saying that Newsweek is kind of like Absolve Belle Dolphine for kind of cultivating this audience. She knows who she's dealing with. She's got a legion of booty warriors. And they're all hungry for booty. Like, what do you expect? My God, it's like if you raised a baby to love crack. And then all of a sudden you're angry at the baby because it needs its next few rocks to get through the day. What the hell is this? Sometimes I'm confused. It's like... A woman is never slightly wrong. I get she's trolling, but on the other hand, you can't be too mad at her fan base because she knew who she was taking money from. She knew what she was creating. You watched her videos rolling around half naked, wearing clothes that say, yes, daddy on her ass and whatnot, doing the ooh, ooh face as she goes cross-eyed, sticks out her tongue for jizz because she's doing the whole anime girl thing. That's all I'm saying. She's just doing this thing that's in hentai or whatnot. Uh, let's take a F in chat for hentai haven children. <laughs> they fucking... They took down hentai heaven! No! Fucking... Why? Why would they shut down hentai heaven? I can't see big anime titties anymore. I don't want to go on X videos. This shit's fucking gay. Alright? Bring back fucking hentai heaven! Come on! What the fuck? Let me put it in layman's terms. If I were to fall down the stairs and land on my head and for some reason wake up and decide to go to a MotoGP race and I show up to the race after paying my absorbent amount of money for tickets and when I go there I don't see prototype motorcycles, I see golf carts. You better believe I'm gonna be pissed. What the fuck is this shit? Where's Rossi? You knew that those two words were coming. The second you see misogyny, you know you're gonna see toxic masculinity. Masculinity is what it is. All right, I'm going off on a whole different tangent, but I really hate the term toxic masculinity. I hate it. All right, guess what? Toxic masculinity kept the Nazis from taking your ass and turning you into a camp, you little shit. My God. You know how much masculinity you need to run up a, a fucking beach of sand while your friends are drowning in the water? Nazis are tearing your dude next to you in half with an MG42. Nobody sat there and said, ooh, it's toxic masculinity. They said those men were heroes. All right, let it go. It's the 4th of July. Got him. Let it go. <laughs> the next time we have a war, nobody's going to be going toxic masculinity, especially if something hits America. When 9-11 happened, nobody's screaming toxic masculinity. Let it go, dude. Let it go. One of the videos called PewDiePie Goes All the Way Inside Belle Dolphine is a minute long clip of Dolphine eating a picture of the YouTube star PewDiePie and winking throughout. Taylor... Lorenza, I guess I got that name wrong. Taylor Lawrence said, Belle Delphine said if she got a million likes on Insta, she would start a porn hub. Nearly 2 million thirsty teen boys liked it. She made a porn hub, but it's just a video of her playing with stuffed cats. And now every teen memer on Insta is having a meltdown. Okay. So 
This kid says, Belle Delphine, you will rule this day. The day you crushed all the 12 and 13 year old boys who waited a week for your videos. You posted horrible content and you will pay. All the video gamers are coming together to find you, Bella. You've got a bounty. Wanted dead or alive. Be warned. Don't mess with the gamers. You may have just started World War III. That has to be a joke. This chick Kate posted that. You know it's a joke. Teenage boys can barely do much these days other than play video games and meme. And you expect them to all of a sudden turn into commandos and hunt down Belle Dolphine? Please. Please. Like, the women that are posting this are acting like... <laughs> oh my God, what the fuck do you expect? It's a teenager. So, after that happened, I assumed it was over and done with, right? Well, apparently it wasn't. On July 1st, Belle Dolphine pops up on her Instagram and says this. What was I going to do to top my Pornhub stunt? Well, if you guessed selling my bath water, you're right. Get your very own here at BelleDolphineStore.com bath water to top her stunt. Literally, she acted like what she did was a stunt. No. Chris Angel does stunts. Tom Cruise does stunts in his movies. You basically posted a couple shitty videos to troll some thirsty boys. That wasn't a stunt. That was a Friday afternoon. I bet she cut those videos in five minutes flat. There was nothing special there. Oh, pull out a cat toy, play with it. I wish I could use the video to show you guys. And since fucking bitch shoot wants to be a pain in the ass. So Pornhub is the first one to comment and goes, genius, how much for your toenails? You know what I love about these websites? If there's a social media influencer, the websites will suck their ass. Stu, give me a few drops of the road, baby. Ah. Mmm. Mm. One more. Ah. Oh. I think you missed, you dumb bastard. Ah, uh, me, mommy. Ah, uh, mmm. <sniffs> Yummy, yep. No, you get none. Not a drop. Yes, I'm gonna beat my meat in a way you can't understand. Oh, yes. Oh, worth the investment. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, bounce it, baby. Oh, give me that booty juice. Oh, fresh booty juice. Oh, God, who's the lucky bastard that got that bottle, huh? Mm -hmm. This bath water literally set the internet ablaze. I mean, Belle Dolphine is dressed like Diva from Overwatch, right? And she's doing this bath water stuff. And even if you go to the webpage, it says Diva under the bath water insignia. How come Blizzard hasn't come after her for this? Dude. Mr. Echo made an opening for me to the tune of Bob Ross of me painting shit. Guess what happened? The Bob Ross estate came for me, dude. They came for me. Bob Ross has been dead 30 years. They got me on copyright claims. Then I thought I was funny. I'm like, fuck you, Bob Ross estate. I'm gonna put this on Twitter because it's funny. You know what happened? You know what happened? Bob Ross came for me on Twitter. My tweet got a copyright claim. I didn't even know tweets could be copyright claimed. What is this shit? Meanwhile, Belle Dolphine is selling bath water dressed like Diva, and Blizzard doesn't bat an eye. Not a single eye. But me, I already know when I drop dead, Bob Ross is going to be on the other side telling me about happy little mistakes before he beats my ass. Happy little copyright strikes. She even goes as far as saying gamer boys rise up, which means Belle Dolphine was well aware of her Pornhub pissing off Gamer Boys. And then she starts selling bath water, saying Gamer Boys rise up. And the real ironic part is the shit sold out in 24 hours. 24 hours, dude. Happy priest, where is your God? Where is your God now? Disclaimer, this water is not for drinking. It should only be used for sentimental purposes. Put it in my ass. That's not bath water. She's in a, a bikini swimsuit splashing around for God's sakes. If this isn't bath water, there's no soap suds, she isn't ass naked. You're getting like secondhand water here. Edgy Psycho sent me this on Instagram. So instead of taking the time to sit here and uh, count the bottles individually, I decided to try and round things up. From what I could tell, two rows consist of about 40 bottles. And there's about 
five rows of these little fuckers. Well, anyway, long story short, I've rounded it off to the bottles I can see on screen is $6,000. But the caption on this says that this isn't even all of them laughing my ass off. Meaning that that gigantic box probably holds even more bottles that they're filling with water. Or Baldolfini is filling with water. I have no clue how many are in there. I'm not even going to bother to attempt to do the math. All I know is, if this is just one level, and that comes to six grand, uh, I'm done. I'm not doing the math. I'm done. Good night. Fuck this. It's right as rain, love. I feel it in me waters. We're going to fucking make a lot of money. <laughs> I'm sorry, my English accent is bad. That, that came off more Australian, if anything. I got nothing to say. I got nothing. Because you know what? She's making more money than me, putting in far less effort. I am killing myself over here. Working on multiple channels. Editing every day of my life. Painting some crap for charity on the side. Barely sleeping or eating. It's still motherfuckers like, you need to get on this next video, you lazy bastard. Meanwhile, Belle Delphine shakes her butt in some water and probably cleared 20 G's. I can't take this no more. I'm dying. The funniest part is if you go through these comments, you see other women congratulating her. I wish this is how I made my money. Great. Belle Delphine is giving other e-thoughts ideas. Good work, Belle. Let's just throw humanity down the well as fast as possible. Can't be too mad at her, though. She did like my tweets when I was fucking with Elenity, so... She threw her support behind the right horse. Maybe even Kotaku's talking about it. It's a troll and performance art all at once. We're now calling Belle Delphine a performance artist. Great. Great. Belle Delphine is this generation's divine David. Take me now, Lord. The world is burning. Let's masturbate. I swear to God, I hate mainstream media because like Newsweek just calls the fans that are upset with her trolling them for Pornhub, misogynist and toxic masculinity. Kitaku and Polygon are like, oh, Belle Delphine's a performance artist. You know what? Let's take it to the next level. Belle Delphine, she's the new Salvador Dali. She's going to just move the existential movement right back to the 21st century. And the funny thing is, even when you read this, the cosplayer who has 3.8 million followers on Instagram has been blowing up on social media lately thanks to a variety of high-profile trolls on her audience of thirsty men. Every time a man does something, it's toxic masculinity. I'm told I'm a toxic male all the fucking time. An alt-right troll. How come I'm not a performance artist? Fuck you, Newsweek. I'm more creative than Belle Dolphine. It's just nobody gives a shit because I got a dick. Point being, <laughs> Polygon right here is like... Kind of, it's just a slight celebration. It's like, oh, look at her troll these thirsty men. Isn't that kind of cruel? You know your whole audience is dying for anything you do because they're so passionately in love with you. And you just do shit to fuck with them and take their money. And it's just kind of like, she's she's a good little troll. Take that, you thirsty men. One video titled, Belle Delphine Strokes Two Big Cocks. The social media star starts petting chickens. She didn't even get any roosters. Probably because roosters wouldn't take that shit for a little under a minute. In the upload video where she claims she gets double penetration, she sticks two cigarettes up her nose. Click baiting porn, never thought I'd see the day. We have reached a new low, children. <laughs> Even Polygon talks, look at this. Even Polygon points out she's using Diva's logos and shit. Delphine is selling uh, blah, blah, blah for $30. Though she warns people to be careful with the liquid, it's not for drinking, it should be used for sentimental purposes. The page reads, Delphine did not respond to a request for comment, so we don't know how many people are actually purchasing the bottles of water. It's also unclear whether she's allowed to sell something like this, given that the merch is branded with the logo belonging to Overwatch's Diva. See? Notice how, like, Polygon is so sort of diplomatic about it. They're kind of like, while well, she is using this logo of Diva. If it was me, like, if I did some high-profile troll... Running around with It's a Gundam is my name. I wouldn't be surprised if they contacted Bandai to rat me out. I bet Polygon did not contact Blizzard and go, you do know this girl's running around using your Diva logo to sell water to a horny gamer boys, right? They're not doing that. But if I got big enough, they would definitely go to Bandai. Hello, Bandai. How do you feel about this alt-right troll using the tag name It's a Gundam? And then I would get a cease and desist letter for my fucking name. Here we go again. 
What's curious about Delphine's hustle here is that it seems to be a mixture of business and next level performance art. In the video advertising the bathwater, she outright calls this a stunt. And if you look at her wider Instagram on Veneur, I probably said it wrong, Delphine's work is defined by her willingness to go there. The result is as strange as it is funny. Notice how whenever chicks do anything, it's just like, there's no sort of malice in this. But when I was just name dropped in two gaming articles, voicing an opinion that honestly was true, I was pretty much seen to be as some sort of denizen, a foul denizen of the internet as a whole, who is using his YouTube fame to somehow sway people to be an angry mob towards some shit. I don't need to sway anybody to anything. The only reason why anyone came to me is because I was speaking the truth of how the fuck they felt. From now on, everything I do is a stunt. I'm a performance artist as well. If Belle Dauphine's a performance artist, I'm a performance artist. I've had it with this. I want a title. Uh, this also talks about the Belle Dauphine video, playing around with an octopus wearing googly eyes while she sits in a freezer. The longer YouTube video for the act, she kisses the octopus and calls it her best friend, even pretending to cook, play games, and shower with it. There was no shower in that video. She sat in a goddamn bathtub wearing like whatever. It's a borderline unhinged riff on tentacle porn fetish where she appears to be poking fun at the people consuming her content. It's almost as if she knows she's going to get sexualized by viewers for being a real gamer girl quotation marks anyway. So she might as well have some fun with it and maybe make some change while she's at it. It seems to be working too. At least one man says he spent $2,500 on Belle Dauphine's Patreon in exchange for personal Skype conversation. I am all for people making money off shitty dudes, Ayatum says. Making money off of shitty dudes. How come men are always at the bottom of the totem pole? There you go. If you're a Belle Dauphine fan, uh, Polygon has already labeled you a shitty dude. Or this person has. Look at what they see her fan base as. A bunch of shit snacks. They literally just pump money into this girl and their shitty dudes. <sighs> Moral of the story is, Belle Dolphine uh, makes a shit ton of money. An astronomical fuck ton. And she's now a performance artist. She's creative. She's a genius. Her fan base is full of thirsty men that are also shitty dudes. <laughs> it's like when a woman does weird things to make money, it's perfectly fine. If a guy does anything remotely wrong like look at this polygon and kotaku dr disrespect went to a bathroom it got filmed for like a minute or two he became satan dr disrespect was on kotaku's hit list for weeks bell dolphine goes on pornhub uses clickbait porn titles trolls her own fan base turns around and sells bath water using copyrighted content and intellectual properties She's a performance artist and a genius, and men are shitty. Dr. Disrespect goes in the bathroom. He should go to jail. Belle Dolphine breaks copyright laws. She's a genius. <laughs> I can't sit down and mad with her, but I am upset that I can't make this sort of money. I mean, it's, it's depressing. It's like, and I have to sit here and try and make this funny for people who are probably at work right now, listening to this on a lunch break. I gotta go, uh, isn't this funny? Ha ha. Huh? She makes $150,000 a month. You and I don't make that shit in years. <laughs> then I gotta sit there and go. News outlets talk about her like she's the greatest thing since sliced bread. God. Gaming. This is gaming today. Gaming websites. Belle Dolphine. Genius. Performance artist. It's a Gundam. Young Yi. The Quarterling. Who else is in there? Clean Prince. Legacy Killer. Etc. We are all scumbags who are trying to ruin the game industry. As the kids say, welcome to clown world.